Hello everybody. Right, I'm, I'm over on my milling machine now and I'm moving on to the cylinder covers. It's, it's the next part of my cylinders and it's the covers. These are the covers and they are handed like like all the most components on cylinders are and they're handed for a reason because of these fixing holes and ex I'll explain why in a minute. So these are the, I've made a start and these are the covers two pairs, one for each side you've got one side with a boss on where the piston shaft goes through and then the other side just as a blanking plate now in the book it says make them from cast iron but I did have a bit of uh, phosphor bronze on stock which I've not used for ages and I thought I'd make them out of bronze and my idea behind making them out of bronze is with the with steam and that going in the loco and the water I suppose if it's left for long these faces could could get oxidised and get a scale on them and maybe that scale might just peel off and drop into bore cylinder but with bronze it's not going to do that so that was my theory behind making them out of bronze and if I, if I hadn't got this bronze they'd, they'd have been made in uh, cast iron so they're the um, the covers and all it is it's a turning job to the different diameters and then on the side where the shaft comes through for the piston the rod you've just got to put this shape on now you can either mill it on or saw it and file it or put it in a lathe with a milling attachment whichever suits best for you Right, so coming back to drawing then, the reason they're handed is it's the, the, the circumference where the holes are, the offset from the centre by a quarter of an inch. So on one side it's a quarter of an inch one way and on the other side of the loco it's, it's the other way. And the reason they're offset is because the cylinders this is the cylinder so imagine this this side is where the frame fits so imagine we're looking onto this cylinder from the front of the loco and we imagine this is the right the the left hand side cylinder looking down at it you can see the portholes here which go up at an angle to where the valve chest is it's they're offset these holes so that they miss these port holes so on this side it's offset that way but on the other side it'll be the opposite way that hole will be on this side and vice versa so that's important that you get them uh, uh, correctly handed so what I'm doing then now I've marked the pitch circle diameter off which was two inch and the first hole is offset by a quarter of an inch from the center line so I've marked my PCD and I've um, I've scribed a little line on with the position of the holes are I don't know if you can see that it's probably too faint but anyway that they are marked off and that's just for a guide I've set me uh, rotary table up on my milling machine it could just just as easily be done in your lathe on your vertical slide and what I've done I've got my dial set to zero on my rotary table I've got my cylinder cover positioned in the chuck and then I set my spin, my milling spindle to the centre of the cylinder cover. Once I'd got that centre, I just double checked it with my clock round the diameter to make sure it was true. And then once I've got that my spindle dead in the centre of this cylinder cover, I've set my dials and I've moved over one inch, which is half the pitch circle diameter so that will give me a 2 inch PCD 
but then I've picked the first hole up by just turning the cover in the chuck and then once that's set on that first hole I can now move my rotary table around at 60 degree intervals to get all these six holes in six sixes of 36 that's 360 degrees uh, the size of the holes are 964 which is I think that's clearance for 4 BA studs so that's what I'm about to do then now start drilling these holes Right, that's the first one drilled, so I'm going to take that out now and uh, put the other other cylinder cover on, the, the end cover. I'm going to put that in and I've got to remember that I've got to do it from my centre line. I'm doing it the opposite way this time. So I'm just going to bring my tip of my centre drill to, mark, to line up with that first hole there. same and then I've got to come onto these other other covers on the other side where the um, piston rod comes through and again one's going to be to the left of the centre quarter of an inch and the other one's going to be to the right of the centre a quarter of an inch then I'll have a matching pair for each side so I'm going to continue with that then now and uh, once I've got these done I can probably then go on to finishing actual cylinder bodies off and uh, transferring the holes into the bodies and drilling the portholes. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on my next video.